R2B is a 200 mile relay race with 36 transitions. It starts in the mountains and ends at the beach. Teams of 12 runners break into two bands. Each runner runs three legs that range between three and nine miles each. Most teams complete the race in 24 to 32 hours. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Gretchen, you're uh, runner number one, first leg. Woo! What, what are your thoughts? I am. Well, I'm pretty nervous. It's 2.8 miles, but it's straight up the mountain. Um, but I'm really psyched, you know. We've all been working towards this for a really long time. I'm really excited, and my teammates are being awesome. So do you have, like, a mantra that you kind of tell yourself, like, keep going? or? It's mostly, like, it'll be really embarrassing if you have to stop. So... Don't be publicly humiliated on 11 other blogs. So do your final warm-ups and uh, enjoy the run out there. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Driving band one, it's a big yep. responsibility. You know, yeah, the band's got to get there. You know, there's some pressure, a little pressure. Right. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Now we're looking at my spreadsheet that I made last night. Um, it'll spit out their estimated finish time so that we're always there and ready. And then if they aren't on pace, we put an adjusted time and that will then adjust the next start time. And it just, it's pretty awesome. Oh, I don't even know. When I saw it, it was like all uphill on like the trail, all rocky, and then it opens up onto the road. And after it hits the road, it's downhill for like three quarters of a mile. And I st and I was going like sub eight, like I was just like, but it still really hurt after the uphill before. But at least I finished. You finished. Good job. Bought a sewing machine, learned how to sew to make headbands for our bands. And then Brian and Mark helped um, her put them on. 66 so. feet of headbands. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was uh, your first leg RTB. What do you think? Uh, it was awesome. I passed some people. You were booking. Uh, I was running. <laughs> I was running. <laughs> I don't know. That's the last one of those. They'll all be slow from here on out. Are you taping? We are. So, uh, oh. what's your name? Patricia. What's your blog? RunFoodieRunBoston.com. And what was what was the last time you ran? Uh, the marathon about a month ago. <laughs> so, let me get this straight. You're going to run about, what, 15, 16, 17 miles this weekend? 20. 20? <laughs> and you haven't run in a month. No, but I've been crossfitting. Okay. So, is there any, are you nervous about this? Or? I am. The heat is a factor in that nervousness. But, you know, I'm just going to have fun. I have awesome teammates. Good job, Melissa. You got this. It was tough. It was a lot harder than I thought. It was exciting to see like the bands and the people and like I was so worried about being alone but like every few minutes you see a runner or you see a van. Looking forward to the night when it's cooler, less sun. And you laid that out. You, know, you, you ran about what five second faster pace than you thought you were going to. 
Yeah, that was tough. <laughs> really tough. But it was fun. You know, I just tried to enjoy the beautiful course. Thanks to the organizers for, you know, picking awesome legs. I think it's one of the more beautiful relays I've ever done. So it was awesome. You know, my legs felt okay, but just my, the heat really got to me. But other than that, I felt fine. These, you know, socks were great, and this hat is my lifesaver. So <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. And I have a great team supporting me. I'm excited. I've seen five other girls run so far, and it really just made me kind of excited about the race. I'm not necessarily anxious. I'm more, um, I don't know, I'm excited. I That hill right after you saw me, healed. Yeah, we drove up that when we were like, oh. Healed me. We were like, hey. Yay. Yay. Good job. Yeah. Huh? yeah that's amazing. Amazing. All right. So, uh, Monica, first leg RTD, what do you think? I had a blast, but only one down, and I'm already pretty tired. So, I don't know if that's good. <laughs> Sounds like it's time to rally. Yes. <laughs> I'm still pumped though. Yay. I'm still like adrenaline. Good. So for most of us, this is our first relay race that's actually a 24 hour through the night. And so there's a little bit of confusion of whether each person or like each van has to have four blinking lights or two blinking lights. Right, really four things they have to have. Number one is a vest. Second are flashers, front and back, so that's two and three. And the last, last thing is a uh, headlamp, either a headlamp here on the top of the head or on the chest. But the other team's coming to meet us. They're going to come to our rescue and we will figure it out. What happened? You guys were just driving along and you got a call that you had to come back to take stop your break? No, well, we were, we were at dinner at actually. Restaurant. We were finishing Luckily up dinner. we were like practically Linner. done. Yeah, we were practically done. And there so was a little confusion just over like where we were going to meet, but through the power of technology and the magical cell phone, we figured it out. Hand it off and we're good to go. Woo! You're not going to run the hill too? Elizabeth, so we have the lights now and, and we're all good to go. Right? Yeah, we're good to go. Ready to rock. Get a rocket. So how, how do you feel? I feel excited. A little nervous. I got Michael Jackson pumping, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're black or white. <laughs> have a good night. I've been doing a lot of half marathons and I usually do like three day a week runs, like one hill training, one speed work, and then one longer run. So I just did a half marathon a month and a half ago and then a few weeks ago I did a 10 miler. So that was kind of my training for this. There's not a lot of light out here in suburbia. Yeah. Um, it's dark and it's scary, so at least being here every mile, she knows that we're here to support her. Do you want that extra headlamp? No, okay. I, I want to be able to see someone else. They're just, they're just, it's thinned out. That's the problem, so. You good? 